Madam Speaker, my question is to the Minister for Environment. Minister, you're responsible for ensuring the state protects all species and especially critically endangered ones. Department of State growth contractors have blocked the nesting hollows needed by critically endangered swift parrots in six large old blue gums just south of St Helens. They're acting in anticipation of a road widening but do not yet have development approval. A department email confirms the protocol of covering tree hollows before construction because it, quote, reduces the risk of breeding disturbance during later stages of the project. Minister, to be clear, the disturbance this project would involve is the destruction of critical and increasingly rare habitat. Every tree hollow matters, Madam Speaker. Under your dystopian administration, blocking the hollow that critically endangered birds need to breed and survive is considered a conservation measure. Do you accept, Minister, that blocking hollows to prevent nesting instead of actively killing the birds when their nesting trees are logged for development is nonetheless an effective death of the critically endangered swift parrot by a thousand cuts? Minister, have you sought advice about whether the removal of necessary habitat, such as these nesting hollows, is a crime under the Threatened Species Protection Act? And if it's not, will you step in, save this habitat, and remove this legislative loophole? Thank you. The Honourable Minister for the Environment. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I thank... Uh, Dr Woodruff for her question. Is that from the Tourism Minister Council? It's comedy hour. Um, mm. Madam Speaker, the Department of State Growth uh, has, I'm advised, undertaken some initial tree treatment works in preparation for the proposed upgrades to the Tasman Highway between Basin Creek Can and uh, what it is, St Helens. Uh, I understand that initial ecological assessment of the site identified the presence, the presence of potential breeding habitat for swift parrot within the project area and to minimise the risk of possible breeding disturbance, uh, tree hollows have been covered in a small number of trees based on specialist advice from ecological Make sure consultants. Less birds can breed. Um, Madam, less birds will Madam breed. Speaker, I'm advised that covering tree hollows really is a common pre-construction practice that presents considerable conservation Order. benefits as it reduces the risk of breeding disturbance during later stages yeah, of the project. It sanitises the killing. The department exactly. has You're taken this proactive approach to minimise the risk of disturbance during breeding and only a limited number of trees identified for removal during construction have been treated in this way. Madam Speaker, the trees and hollows were inspected and assessed by an ecologist before the hollows were covered. I'm advised so that they're no... Our habitat. <sighs> oh, precious. Well, come on, stop using Order. the Order. Order. Thank you. I'm advised that no fauna was present in any of the hollows yeah, and that many of the hollows were considered That's potentially unsuitable for nesting uh, based on their size. Rubbish. A development application for the proposed upgrades is currently with Breaker Day Council. Uh, Madam, However, point of order, Madam Speaker, mm -hmm. uh, my question was relating to Which the point of order? Species Act 45 order. relevance. The Minister hasn't addressed the question. There appears to be a legislative loophole that is preventing him from acting to, to uh, protect the threatened species, and we want to know whether he's going to assess it and fix it. Thank you. That's not a point of order, but I've allowed it on Hansard, so there you go. Um, Minister, if you could address that. So the DA is currently with the Breaker Day Council, but to ensure yeah. that there's no impact on the uh, parrots during the breeding season, the department's been they, proactive in this case. This the department is committed Dr. to Woodruff. carefully managing any environmental impact of <laughs> delivering uh, infrastructure improvements and, and has conducted these activities in accordance with all relevant planning schemes well, and loophole. all relevant That's legislation. Madam Speaker, I just need to make the point for, for, anyone, Dr. For, for anyone who's actually listening to this uh, <laughs> that, that this isn't about preventing swift parrots breeding. It is about getting in before the breeding season, no, it's about closing off widened, some, some possible breeding the sites that they may the have uh, started to build uh, their nests in yeah. and, and divert them to other ones. Yeah. 
so it's that they can breed away from areas that are going to be disturbed. Uh, this is us, uh, This is our government order, uh, order. Following, following good process yet again is, and not, taking proactive dystopia. action, Madam Speaker, uh, to ensure not, that, that no, these threatened uh, birds can no, find themselves a safe breeding place this season. Thank you.